Well, this is Ken. I wanted to give a quick little demonstration of my uh, Raspberry Pi Macroscope here. I've uh, put an adjustable focus uh, camera on it, and we've got a light ring, and then I'm using a MOSFET to uh, turn that 12 volts on and off. And I've added some buttons and stuff, and I primarily use this for uh, photographing electronic projects. So I've got my SMB Challenge here, which will show you here a little bit which goes into uh, uh, surface mount all the way down to 0201 packages but um, so as far as the interface you can either use a keyboard or uh, just the buttons I put on here so uh, for instance if you want to zoom in you can do uh, zoom in this is a digital zoom in and then if you want to take a picture you just press the red button once and it'll tell you where it saved it to um, you can turn the light on and off by Hold the button down for a little bit, depending on what the lighting is you need. Uh, so it's like a one second hold, and then you can also shut the Pi off or start it up using that button as well. So, uh, um, uh, the other nice feature is so storing um, images to the SD card into the boot folder so they can be read on a regular computer, and you can actually resize that partition to make that more usable uh, standard size is 50 megabytes and so you can uh, make it quite a bit larger than that um, and you can also stick a USB drive in there and it'll detect it and you can save stuff to the USB and then pull it out okay so I've moved the camera much closer and just to the focus so uh, the cool thing about this we're not using any kind of magnification we're just using uh, proximity to get things closer and I've placed on uh, the chip here, my uh, 0201s here, and to give you an uh, example there, there's my uh, there's my tweezers. Show you how tiny these uh, these components are. It's a 0201 LED flipped on its back, and the 0201 resistor. And uh, I've had a number of people have been able to solder these by hand. That's kind of the challenge is to see how small you can uh, solder. So that's pretty cool. Here's the thing I didn't show. Um, it will take videos, so from the keyboard, if I hit V, you can see that red dot shows up and it's recording. And then um, uh, also if you want to do a time lapse, and uh, you can hit T, and it will take a picture about every three seconds. If you want to get into the Python code, you can figure out how to change that. And then lastly, uh, because I can never remember things, I've got a help screen, you hit H, and the uh, that comes up. Oh, I didn't show you that you can flip the image too, because it depends on sometimes your perspective or where you got the camera placed. It's easier to see it upside down. So that's pretty much the uh, basic outline of it. Um, hope that shows uh, how it's useful. I've used it for all my taking pictures for my instructables. Um, really getting a kick out of it, and I'm sure other people will figure out different ways to use it. That would be cool as well. And that's something I always find exciting. Alright, thanks. This has been Ken from MakerSpot.